Yo, welcome to Crash Dummies episode 98. I'm Pat. That's Mike. <laughs> All right, bro. You're trying to make me cuss for the first <laughs> 30 seconds. I'm going to keep my cool. Uh, welcome to the show, man. Uh, get on that Patreon. The, oh, yeah. Announcement. There would not be a Saturday episode this week. Good announcement. The, the other one dropped on Sunday for some reason. I don't know what happened there, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> Just whatever. It's an extra episode yeah. anyways. Be grateful. But, yeah, I'm traveling. You bro- broke ass. So. so I will not be able to shoot. So no Saturday episode. Yep. I got y'all. How come every MOK drive is bad? It's like a bad street. <laughs> Why are you starting with the podcast? <laughs> Let's start off with some positivity. No, seriously. All right. The sisters of No, go back Church. to my qu- That's the topic. <laughs> How come every MOK drive, they don't ever give them the good streets? Because, because listen, <laughs> I'm answer this for you. Go ahead. A lot of white racist people are rich, right? <laughs> I was going to see your, your racist quota. Yeah. You can say racist a lot of on You know, a lot of white racist people are rich. They're not living on no Martin Luther King drive. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> I'll take the next one out. <laughs> I'm not living on no MLK drive. I'll take no, the Teddy Roosevelt. One thing, hey, one thing white people love, they love an MLK quote. They say that <laughs> <laughs> That's a not racism card. <laughs> but, what were you about to say? How about not scrounging up at every black person you see? Then I think you're not racist. <laughs> they stink. Uh, <laughs> oh. A man in China spent 21 hours on his knees in front of his ex girlfriend's job, begging her to take him back. Yeah, I saw that. Um, first of all, I, I want to always verify these, some of these <laughs> these articles. Sometimes we believe too many pictures. With with quotes on it, yeah, yeah. yeah but twenty one hours. That's <laughs> what type of shift she working? <laughs> that bitch working at night night shift. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> that's what. Well, damn, that's a lot of hours. That's such an odd number too. Like, don't tell me I'm working a a, a eleven hour shift. That's crazy. Nah, that's insane. <laughs> sometimes I remember we used to work corporate. Sometimes too was that you start thinking about like if I if I clock out early, do I really need that extra twenty something dollars? No, you don't. <laughs> go home. <laughs> Trust me, go home. Cause they firing you next month anyways. <laughs> Big layoffs coming. So if your job being real nice to you is because they're trying to work the shit out you before they lay you off. <laughs> we can get ninety six hours. Ninety six hours out of Daryl. That's all we really need for him. I know he's gonna come in late, but let's work for him. We're laying him off anyways. I know he just hey, we need to let him know we're firing him before he buys his new Jordans. Hey, so. Patrick didn't come in to work today. Do you think you could come in? <laughs> Hell no. I ain't coming in. And fuck Patrick too, nigga. <laughs> fuck you gotta hey, why is he telling y'all I'm available? <laughs> Lame man. I know he told y'all. I ain't working that nigga shit. <laughs> Gone of those days. What's the worst job you ever had, Key? All these. All these? Yes. That is crazy. That's, how come I, how come there was never that many people at all these? I feel like the cash register is only like two people at a time. Oh, not that so I worked at the distribution center. Oh, <laughs> And it w- it was a cool job, but I had this uh, supervisor named Brian, and <laughs> that I nigga like- sound like a bitch. <laughs> he was a bitch. I Fuck Brian. Brian. I don't know no good Brian's, bro. <laughs> I really don't know a good Brian, bro. All uh-huh. niggas bitches, especially niggas with the e in it. Hate them niggas. <laughs> Like, why are your parents like that? Dude? <laughs> they want to be different that bad. Nigga got to prove they liberal. We're not going to give you the regular Brian. You're no regular white boy. We love our blacks. Let's give him an E. Make him blend in a little bit. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> but you worked out. All these is insane. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Cheap ass grocery store. I can't. That, that, bro, I used to, you know, you got to get some of your items from all these sometimes. If you, I've been to all these. Yeah, I've been, I've been. I used to go to all these all the time, mm-hmm. bro. I would go to all these if I live closer to one. I, st- I don't want that. I just realized how dirty they is. Uh, it's it just so for, unsanitary. It's like they don't take care of sh- Even the nicer ones, they take care of it, but it's like still that like dusty feel. Like, I don't want no Captain O's. I'm good. Like, <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's Captain Crunch with a backwards hat and a nigga in a crib. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? The reason I didn't like shopping at nigga all Captain these. Captain Crunch, nigga. <laughs> Big C's, nigga. The reason I didn't like uh, shopping at all these sometimes is because. Um, they never had everything you need at one grocery store. Like, you know, especially like when um, you got to get like miscellaneous items. So it's like your, your paper towel that you already like using. There's the 
tissue you like using or the wipes that you like using. They don't have everything. It's always some off brand ass deodorant. I'm like, all right, I need to go to an actual store mm. to get the degree. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got degree, they got diploma. <laughs> <laughs> I see the nigga with diploma deodorant. Them, the bro, them off them off brand serial names just be so funny to me. It's like <laughs> it's just it, it, it it's almost lazy, but they know what they're doing anyway. <laughs> yeah, they funny as hell. <laughs> like, uh, nigga, these frosted folks, nigga. <laughs> On folks now, nigga. <laughs> they, <laughs> Is that a gang cereal? <laughs> it's a tiger throwing up ZD. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, this shit is ghetto. <laughs> I'll take some of them cheese knots, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, cheese Let me have a fresh fruit there, too, though. Fresh fruit? That should be crazy. Walmart, What's I don't like getting what, fruit, fruit from Walmart. Nah, I don't fuck with no fruit from Walmart. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> one time I was in Walmart, bro. I seen a nigga, bro. <laughs> this nigga was by the bananas, bro. He took one, he picked up the whole banana right. Peeled it open in the middle to see and said, no, nah, these still brown. <laughs> back together and put it back. <laughs> that's, a fir- that's the only time I ever wanted to call somebody a monkey. I, <laughs> I used to eat the shit out the grapes all the time. I was always like the kid that I would like pick up every t- different type of grape. Or I take like five or I take like six sometimes. Just eating the grapes. Because you know the grapes are always the one thing you kind of like. Yeah, would I have to open like that? Yeah, so that was my that was kind of my thing. Oh my! My grandma used to take advantage of that shit. I yeah. used to be so mad at my, <laughs> my grandma. Dad. My I, dad was just I hated that shit. <laughs> she used to walk around the grocery store every. I swear every. I don't know why. Like every younger black person experiences, <laughs> used to walk around the grocery store and your mom or grandma would just be eating the fucking yeah. grapes, <laughs> and you'd be like, "Damn, you halfway through the bag. You be you younger. You mad as hell." For That's no why reason. I started doing it because and, and they get mad at you because you snitching on them. Yeah. Like hell no, you shouldn't be doing that. She eating on them because when you like eight nine, you innocent as fuck. Yeah. So when nigga break the rules like that, you like, oh hell no, my nigga. <laughs> hey, you eating a whole half bag of grapes <laughs> before we got at the store, and you changed bags. You think I saw that shit? Go put that shit back, nigga. I'm nine, nigga. I'm respectable. Nigga. <laughs> oh man. I know uh, somebody who would like the variety bag of chips. They would take out <laughs> two bags. They'll have two boxes. They'll take out two bags and they'll fake shop. And they'll be just sitting there eating the chips and then they'll keep doing it. <laughs> For chips, bro? No, yes, that's insane. Bro. Because if you think about it, to the employee's eye, that chip. They've never seen that chip before because it's not in the store. It's only yeah. in that box. So if I got a little ass bag of Doritos, you're not gonna come up to me like, "Where you got them Doritos?" Bro? <laughs> but nigga, I crush your bitches in your face. <laughs> you never know, nah, nigga. Bro, what I used to do with those variety chip bags, so you know they had like the plain Doritos. Um, they had uh, the what's the what the corn ones, the Fritos, the Fritos, and then some other chips like the Hot Cheetos or something like that. So I would go in the variety pack and change out all the Fritos and put <laughs> and put all the the chips in it. So somebody got a variety pack with all Fritos. That'd be insane. Fritos are some nasty ass chips. Them corn chips, bro. That shit is nasty. Yeah, them be the niggas who that, like those chips. The nigga silver you, two dudes. The nigga, that, <laughs> the kid that you did that variety chip shit too. That nigga uh, a parking ticket nigga. <laughs> like. <yeah. laughs> <laughs> Niggas fuck me over Bro anybody younger. that eats Frito <laughs> Hey you know You know you gotta think God don't really like you like that If you open a whole bag of box, A whole box of Fritos You just gotta look up like Damn it's gonna be a rough life Ain't it <laughs> Bro anybody like, that likes Just wait little nigga Anybody that likes Fritos like, They lack like Character development <laughs> For sure Nah like I mean unless it's like A walking taco or some shit like, I don't even that bro It's like Fritos is just such a bad chip it, The thing uh, The thing I don't like about it Is just like Because I'll eat some Lay's right yeah. Lay's are my favorite Because they're super plain people I like, like Lay's yep. People like I like baked Lay's Because they're super Nigga I don't care Nigga Nigga <laughs> 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 I did. I don't know what I was actually information. But it, we're on a podcast, so I'm allowed to say what I like and what I don't fucking like. <laughs> bro, put the mic back to your mouth, that bro. Nigga said, that, nigga, that nigga said, I like baked bake lace. I didn't even <laughs> say it like that. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. I like baked lace. Like, well, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I forgot what I was talking about. Nigga, join the army. Now you think you can talk anyhow. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fake ass cadet. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, I never, I never fight for this country. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a spy the first day. Nigga, <laughs> nigga all you did was go use the bathroom. Yeah, them niggas sound dangerous over there. I, <laughs> I sent them our location. They gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Now we are ruining the party for everybody. Now everybody got evacuated. Shit, nigga, grab my phone. This nigga sharing location with the Taliban. Listen, <laughs> them nigga, it sound like we got uh, my nigga. <laughs> nigga, I didn't see nigga Jared. Ain't got no fucking leg. Nigga, I ain't going out like that. <laughs> Do they let you quit the army? Like you can't. Like you can get. Uh, oh, but you don't get your money and all that other benefits you 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 signed up for. <laughs> I thought you was about to say, can you quit the army? If like your legs get blown off, I'm like, no, I think you get you get honor. This, I think nigga, you, this nigga want the army to have crawlers from zombies. And shit. Yeah, we got, <laughs> <laughs> we got. <laughs> See, that nigga gonna say that one person gonna say this is fake laughing. <laughs> niggas want us to have crawlers. He want them to be in the wheelchair with an AR. Yeah, them be the niggas you just serve serve to the death. Get five niggas on a wheelchair. Get them niggas a nice rent. <laughs> <laughs> Send them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I saw a street fight with a, a dude in the wheelchair. It was like it was a brawl, and he was helping his homies. He freaking scoot off the wheelchair. One move, bro. Scoot, butt hit the floor, grabbed the, with the torque right there, and then hit somebody with his wheelchair all in one swing. Yeah, that nigga got <laughs> crazy upper body strength. <laughs> I think it transferred before his leg is cut off. He transferred. Like, Let me get this energy up. <laughs> nigga strong than a bitch, bro. Most a lot I of people. I seen the nigga boxing with, uh, yeah, with was, no legs. No, no, no. I seen him boxing. He had one whole arm, and the other arm was amputated. Up yeah, the bicep, and they put the fucking boxing glove on this one. Yeah. So this nigga a uh, fighting Nemo. This nigga. <laughs> who? Yeah. Who? I'm like, what the fuck? The, <laughs> there's a UFC fighter like that. That um. Uh, not MMA fighter in general mm, that has one. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know his name, but he fights in Bellator. Though. Yeah, yeah, he <laughs> he has one arm. I know them niggas. I know they don't think about that, but I know they know that's disrespectful as fuck. <laughs> like that's my worst fear. It's yeah. like obviously nobody wants to get beat up. Mm. Imagine getting beat up by a nigga with a nub. Hey, <laughs> 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 he, he turned around like his his hand cut right here, so he got a nub, and he turned around. And put- <laughs> Bro, finish your sentence. <laughs> what if you fighting a nigga with a nub and he cut his hand off and stick the nub in your mouth? Oh. Like this. What? <laughs> bro, that's so fucking random, bro. That's a bit little ass nub. That's my biggest fear. What if a nigga? I'm just saying, nigga beat you up with a nub. He got that shit on the back of your neck. Like, nigga, watch out. <laughs> she getting your ear and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. Oh my god This nigga got the circular fist (laughs) (laughs) His arm look like uh, The top of a bingo stamp (laughs) (laughs) Wow Oh man (sighs) What else happened Jonathan Majors is um, getting dropped by Everybody Yeah he he got one thing Damn my bad (laughs) Yeah he getting dropped by everybody Yeah that's I don't know it's it's Nigga, drop, nigga getting dropped faster than audio listeners' uh, GPA down midterm. <laughs> it's always it's always strange when you you pe- see people getting dropped for like something that hasn't come out yet. So it's like it might be something like big coming out. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh when wow, be, that's that's growth. Big coming out. Yeah, yeah. No, that's growth because you you pause me. To get you, I, I miss it. You pause me for I, less. Andrew so- said that we shouldn't be saying pause. Why? Because that means we want it to stay. And we want it to be in that moment. We should be saying fast forward. Okay. So fast forward. Cool. Okay. But <laughs> I still think like, yeah, it must be something crazy. Right? Yeah. If everybody jumping ship like right now, what I really know is he still got a chance to be Denzel Washington. You think so? Mm-hmm. This happened to Denzel? No, I'm just saying he still got a chance to be Denzel, bro. What do you mean? On Tubi, nigga. He's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga cook. <laughs> hey, sign that nigga up. If Tubi, I, if I'm on Tubi, I'm loving this shit. Yeah. We about to have a decent actor to come down to this bitch. <laughs> Tubi like the G League for actors. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> it, it, I, I think, isn't Tubi like the the place where you can, a lot of like independent it's films like and stuff? It's like independent films. It's dope. That's people need to start, right? No, it's, it's definitely dope yeah. because it's like fucking, I don't know if it's like, 
you still got it's not SoundCloud where yeah. anybody can upload on there, but it's like t- talented ass people in there. Yeah, but I think some of I those think scenes they just over. I think the tr- tr- the problem with some of them is they overact. <laughs> it's like they they put so much like inflictions in their voice where it's like all right, <laughs> but you know you don't what? have to make it that dramatic. You know who. The bad actors are never going anywhere. Some of yeah. them, some of them might get better from that. There's bad actors in big movies. In big movies, right? <laughs> yeah. Some of those bad actors never go anywhere. It's the directors that are going places. Because if I can send you something, and a real director knows how to ignore the acting, yeah. I just want to know the concept and the story. And if the story is good, that's all they're doing is selling their stories yeah. in non-script forms. Like here, let, let me just make a movie of this shit. I bet you it's a Tubi movie out there with a. I've never even seen the Tubi interface. Like I don't even know what it looks like. Me either. I ain't been on that shit. I heard you only can get it through Boost Mobile. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a Boost Mobile account. I don't know how the fuck them niggas do that shit. You ever had a Boost Mobile account? Yeah, I used to have Boost Mobile. I used to do the chirp thing. That was I used my to have the, the cricket. That's insane. How's that insane? That's like some foreign shit. That's what cricket riders get. Yeah. Nah, cricket's American. Anyways, you saw uh, a YS lo- uh, what a YSL lawyer did. Said no cap. He yeah, no, he said cap. Like oh, he was cap? like, Oh, your honor, those are lies. That's cap. Yeah, like, but it, it, my it's lawyers say cap. That case is over. It's wrapped. Like, hey, just start putting shit on my commissary, my yeah. <laughs> Let me get get my shit loaded. I mean it was already down it was already pretty downhill for that for Thug in that situation. They were beating up uh YSL members in jail too. Yeah, I saw it. They're trying to scrape You can't I know, you can't believe anything. No, you don't know if that's you don't know. At I mean, first, he had YSL on his arm, though. I know, but the first rumor that I heard of that was a YSL member. No, there was a video of this. No, I saw the oh, okay. video. But the first headline of that was a YSL member that was beating up a former YSL member telling him to take that shit off. Oh, got it. Yeah. Now, then it's another report that came out and be like, oh, that's somebody else. From YSL. Fan. Yeah. So we don't know. If it was YSL and they trying to cover it up or blah, blah, or blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, oh, I'm always intrigued when um, you see people in prison doing, like, shit that you don't think they should be doing in prison. That's insane. Like, what happens? And it's on video. Because, you know, they record themselves smoking and shit like that. Mm. And I always wonder, like, do, do the people in jail don't see that shit? Like, bro, it's a TikTok account. That bitch got 800,000 followers, bro. Yeah. And it's a nigga in jail. <laughs> This nigga is cooking in there. Do you think people in jail should ha- be able to have phones? Yeah. I, I feel like the, maybe the level of your crime. I just believe, like, them niggas should never be able to have an audience over 100. Like, these niggas are... Like, yeah. <laughs> y'all want this nigga, like, what if this nigga actually build up a good fan base and this nigga an evil villain? Yeah, yeah. This nigga doing life in prison, he got 800,000 minions running around this bitch. Yeah. Like, God damn, he like this nigga... Because uh, I guess in prison... A lot of drug people, drug lords, could like run, still run their organizations from <laughs> from prison. We sound like CIs and shit. We are. If you feeling nervous, nigga, stop. Damn, the that season finale of us, uh, of uh, Snowfall. Can't do nothing with it. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Holy shit! You watch Snowfall? I just started watching it. Damn, season one. Yeah. Sheesh. But that shit's fire though. No, it's fire. I started. I'm on like I I would be on season four. Damn, you're not even in the new season yet. Nah, I stopped watching a long time ago. Damn. You know, you just kind of like get out of the flow because you're so caught up. Yeah, yeah. If like, if I can't binge something, then I really don't want to keep up. I know, it. exactly. You just, you just wait till, it's always best to just let them things that episode, just let them stack like, like three in a row. You about to think you about to keep like, oh, find out on next episode. Yeah. This ain't no fucking Dragon Ball Z, nigga. But sometimes like Twitter would not allow you not to like, it's like the world of spoiler alerts. Like you, I literally found out uh, Franklin's dad died from Twitter. Right, his I uncle, f- his, his uh, uncle died from Twitter. Yeah, just stop giving people spoilers because some people are not. It was on Twitter, so <laughs> wow. Spoiler alert! <laughs> you a hater? Bro. <laughs> they bro, brothers. If they don't know that he died, they don't. They're not on Twitter. Then it literally is on Twitter. Right. So if they I thought got the actual, Twitter, you just spoiled the whole time. What they don't like? got Twitter, but they listen to a podcast. Yeah. I guess that doesn't really make sense. No, but. it doesn't. <laughs> Everybody not on every social platform. I do worry about some of our listeners that be like, how do I contact y'all? YouTube is the only thing I got. Like, nigga, are you on a run or something? Like, <laughs> like, what do you mean YouTube is the only social media you got? <laughs> Motherfucker. And whoever it was, I ain't going to say the person, but she was comfortable as hell, too. I went to her profile. She had a bio, a profile picture. I said, oh, you do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know what I don't like? What? People think sarcasm is like a personality trait. Just because you use sarcasm doesn't mean that you're good at sarcasm. And I think we, it like, 
people got to start talking about that shit. Like, you actually have to be good. So, one, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Sorry. You can't use sarcasm if I don't fucking know you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. I mean, we can walk in out and just be like, oh, man, yeah, dude talking about, yeah, I'll take everybody. I'll take everybody. Hop in my car. Uh, talking about, hey, you want to know what I drive? Oh, what you drive? I drive a Lambo. All right, cool. Get to a, <laughs> his car. It's a, it's a Honda Civic. It's like, huh, you really thought I drove a Lambo? Yeah, bitch, I just met you two minutes ago. <laughs> well, that's lying. That yeah, exactly. Sarcastic. Nigga, you're lying. <laughs> nah, nigga, niggas be trying to be sarcastic. Like, nigga, you not good at it, nigga. You need to stop. You just drop that shit, man. <laughs> I drop you. Pussy, I thought you had a Lambo, nigga. <laughs> I had me asking to drive and shit. <laughs> that's the only time a nigga can get you, though. You got to think, like, if a nigga come over and just be like, you be like, damn, them some dope-ass shoes. Mm -hmm. You be like, he be like, you want to try them on? He be like, nigga, why would I want to do that? He be like, yeah. damn, that's a dope ass hat. You want to try it on? Like, no, nigga. <laughs> if a nigga comes to you, be like, yeah, I just bought a a, a Ferrari. You want to drive it? Would you drive it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Use another nigga shit. You think that'd be a bad thing? No, I'm just saying that's the only thing that you would do that with is a car. Like everything else that you get. Hello? Yeah, I saw your headphones. They said Radio Shack on the side of them bitches. Them shit is their part. <laughs> no, no, we got a question for you. We don't want to hear your story, nigga. <laughs> All, right, sorry. All right. So, if you w would you break up with your girlfriend to meet your favorite celebrity? Nah, I wouldn't do that because, like, like, all right, right now my favorite celebrity is Ice Spice. Would I like to meet Ice Spice? Yes, I would lick her up and down. To be honest. But at the end of the day, I'm just a random nigga to her. My girlfriend is gonna hold it down for me. Ice Spice is just gonna shake her ass and do that little coochie grab that she be doing when she turn around, and don't know how, how to act on stage. <laughs> this nigga, this, this nigga's all the way turned on. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trust you don't trust in your game. I'm not. I do trust my game, but it's like we in two different tax brackets. Bro. So, 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 so if Ice Spice would be like, I'll give you a hug if you break up with your girl. Nah, never. What the fuck? What would it take what like? for you to break up with nah. your girl? What would Ice Spice um, have to say? I'll, I would need some bread first. I'm breaking up with my girl for bread. Like, <laughs> it got to be upwards of six figures. Um, <laughs> I guess that should be the question. That's a good ass <laughs> question. Uh, yeah, see? Would you break up with your girlfriend for $100,000? It depends on how much money I'm making right now. Yes, I would, because I'm not making hundred dollars right now. But <laughs> if somebody, if, if so if somebody offered 100 you a hundred k, what you telling your girl? Cash? Yes. <laughs> I'd be like, baby, you got to go. That's that simple. You know how, like, on Love Island, the, the guys be like, um... Choosing the money over the woman? That's what this is. What? Bro, I'm not I'm not taking a woman over a hundred K. Unless you could give me a hundred K, I'm not taking it. <laughs> what about for like sixty thousand? Uh I make sixty thousand right now. So you double your salary for a year? Nah. It's not worth it. So it's a 40, my girl got bread too. It's a forty thousand dollar difference between you and your girl staying together. <laughs> This yeah, but stupid. that's six figures at one time. Sixty k at one time is it's, it's it's money, but it's not that much compared to like a hundred k. You know, sixty k at one time is a lot of money, and you probably get taxed less on it. On, uh, less on it, bro. That's a fact. Look, I, I'm I'm a disabled veteran. I just got some bread. Like it hit my account all at once. I said, "God damn!" What, you, what happened? <laughs> How you disabled? I'm a veteran, nigga. That's it. How you disabled veteran? Man, you trying to make my spot hot. Um, <laughs> they can say you rolled the ankle trying to uh, get this. Oh, oh, <laughs> listen, listen, if, you are, if you're in the military and you're not trying to get disability, you are doing it wrong. You gotta look when when I was in the army, bro. These niggas turned me inside and out. Okay, now that I'm on the army, I gotta whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> please say psych. <laughs> say psych. They turned you what? They turn me inside and out. Mm. Now that I'm out the army. What do you mean by that? I, what do I mean by that? Bro, I was waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning for work. I was pulling 24-hour shifts. I was a slave for Uncle Sam. Now it's time for me to get it back. My get back. Now I got to get some credit. So you'll never go back? 
Um, <laughs> it depends because if I go back, I'll lose my disability. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. All right, bro. You're breaking a lot of laws right now, man. <laughs> I'm not breaking any laws. I am disabled. What's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? What? <laughs> I said my dick don't work. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's the deal? How's that boy Pat? What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> what's good? <laughs> Chilling, bro. Chilling. Yeah, well, fuck all the audio listeners. Hey, talk that shit. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, fuck all them boys. Yeah, broke ass boys. Get your brain up. <laughs> <laughs> what you? So we? So soon we about to have? I ain't even gonna tell y'all, but it's gonna be a lot of exposure in the Patreon. Cause soon oh, gonna yeah, be, yeah. yeah, as soon as gonna be. Yeah, soon as gonna be able to see your credit report if you. No, I'm just <laughs> niggas. <Ooh. laughs> hey, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know about anybody else, but yeah, nah, I'm good. You good? You good? I had a question for you. Let's hear it. Would you break up with your girlfriend to meet your favorite famous person? Oh, hell yeah. You would? Who would you pick? Oh. Favorite famous person? Famous celebrity, yeah. <laughs> I'm mad if they broke yeah. up with her and don't have a celebrity in mind. <laughs> <laughs> she go, yeah, yeah, let yeah. me think. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, because I was thinking, I ain't going to lie, my favorite, it was Nick, but Nick. Got killed, so that's why I had to pause. But like Nip Hustle for real is probably who I would have would have met for real. You broke up with your girlfriend to, to meet Nipsey Hustle. Oh yeah, smooth. <laughs> hey, shout out to Nip. Yeah, but goddamn. <laughs> what? Hey, so would you break up with your girlfriend? Hey, priorities, bro. Would you break up with your <laughs> yeah, girlfriend? No, no, no. For, would you break up with your girlfriend for five thousand dollars? Oh no, 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 no. Not five, man, what about no. fifty thousand dollars? Fifty thousand. Nah, not fifty grand. Okay, what about a hundred thousand? Hundred grand, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, we can make that happen. <laughs> Why wouldn't you break up with her for fifty thousand? Because a hundred is more than fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Keep it a buck, bro. I don't know. Like, I mean, hey, money is money, baby. That's funny. Oh man, <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Right, I got one more question for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's up? Uh, would you age yourself two times faster for twenty million dollars right now? Two times faster, like at my current age. Yeah, at your current I double age. my age right now. No, just at your current age, you've. You're gonna start aging twice as fast. For twenty mil? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> what are you gonna do with twenty? What are you gonna do with how, 20? Wait, how old are you? I'm twenty six right now. Twenty six? Your voice sound a little raspy, so I give you to seventy six. So that's fifty <laughs> years. <laughs> so forty more years. Right, thirty five more. No, years. I'm saying oh, give oh, it to seventy six, fifty. So twenty, he you got twenty five years left. We can make that work. Oh yeah, I'm a wolf of Wall Street. That shit, the whole damn time. I won't be going crazy. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. That boy don't value his life or his nah, girlfriend. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey for twenty five million, <laughs> yeah, you get this nigga do a lot of shit, y'all. <laughs> 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 yeah, hey, we can make it happen. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> right, not anything, though, right? No, nah, hell, hey, hey. Yo, we ain't doing none of that. Hell, wait, no. wait, I'm just, what, what is none of that? Will, don't you talk about? <laughs> hey, you said, nah, hey, Pat, look, Pat, you be pausing in the chat all the time. No, nah, bro, bro I ain't say none of these. Hell, no, we ain't on. You just hey, told bro, like, we ain't no switch hitters. You just ain't no told me. <laughs> he said, "No what? Ain't no switch hitters. Ain't no switch hitters over here." <laughs> hey, 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 on that <laughs> hey, no dissing nobody. All right, hey, 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 look, hey listen, you just keep it over there. You know what I'm saying? We do what you do. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I do. We gonna keep it pushing. Hey, right? just so that whole one of them niggas get you. All right, man. I like <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why does this nigga audio so clear? What's up? 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 You good? You sound a little down in the dumps. <laughs> no, I'm sad. He's got a school. <laughs> so she was stats sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> algebra beating that nigga ass. No. Yeah, it is. I don't even take algebra yet. I still in sixth grade. <laughs> bro, why are you watching our show, bro? <laughs> bro, why are you watching our show, bro? 
because it's funny. <laughs> Bro, let me find you a sixth grade podcast. Hold on. I'm not watching those. Why not? Corny. They corny. Oh, you ain't you gotta man. <laughs> What's your favorite TV show, bro? <laughs> you can't even ask I don't me. watch TV. I don't watch TV. <laughs> what you do, bro? I play the game and I go to practice. What you what you play? Football. Dope. What position you play? I play DN, D tackle, linebacker, kick uh special teams, and uh, offense. <laughs> How many people on your team? <laughs> that, 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 that little dude named every position, <laughs> everything. I play. I play almost every position. Just not like not wide receiver, DB stuff like that. Where are you from? South Carolina. South Carolina, real one, real one. Hey, so I got. So why don't you give a message to all all the youth out there? What you got to say to them? The youth. Yeah. Keep grinding. Yes, sir. I guess we shouldn't expect more out of you. You're in the sixth Bro. grade. I got you. <laughs> That's it. What, That's what am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to deliver a whole paragraph of message? Yeah, man. I, I'm not. I'm not. Even, I'm, I'm not even halfway through life yet. <laughs> that boy ain't I'm halfway through school. I'm not even. <laughs> nice, he is great. Though, yeah. <laughs> he got six more years to go. <laughs> he ain't experienced shit. Oh man! Hey. All right, Brody. Appreciate you coming on the pod. Hey, get Appreciate home. your support. Hey, do them chores. I can't go home. I got practice. I'm All at right. practice right now. I'm on practice from start to six. <laughs> All right. What's your social security number? <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. I appreciate you coming on. You need to find some. Hey, we want you to study before you listen to the podcast. All right. All right. <laughs> all right, bro. Appreciate please. you, bro. You go. <laughs> no wonder he said no socials. <laughs> In the sixth grade. <laughs> yo, yo. Welcome to Crash Jimmy's podcast. What's the deal? Oh, what's good, yo? Yo, what's good, yo? This is good. Where are you from? I'm from, I live in Brockton. It's next to Boston, but I'm from New York, Niagara Falls. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, what were you saying about your, what, what, what would you say to get your ex back? My ex? Bruh, I don't even remember what I said, bruh. Hold on. <laughs> bruh, listen, I miss my baby. Come home. That's all you got? Nah, bro. So, and so, Andy and Dirk ended up getting back together. I'm like, yo, Andy and Dirk got back together. You know what I'm saying? I kind of missed my bae. I ain't think he was gonna get India back. So I was like, now that Andy and Dirk is back, I think it's time I make it right and genuinely apologize. You know what I'm saying? Coming from the heart. And I was like, niggas tightened up, tight shit. I had a better change in uh, behavior for the better. I'm trying to take her out the state. You know what I'm saying? Spend the dates, all that shit. Out the state is buddy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, take a week, bro. We going one state over. I'm not doing no driving this shit. What is this? I'm not dirt. <laughs> all right. So what did you do wrong in a relationship? Well, listen. So she got, she got these friends, bro. And her mom. But like her dad got locked up for murder, so I really took his opportunity. So no, no. her mom was looking good, bro. Listen, I have a long history. I've been dating this girl since middle school into high school, so eight years, and I was cheating on her the whole time, bro. And she knew about it, but she was like too dumb to leave me. And then it really like she got fed up once I started flirting with her mom. She ain't really like that. But hey, a win is a win, to be honest. Sound like you losing, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Sound like you got to go to therapy or something. Hey, her friends was my therapy. I was over there. We, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. But, what nah, what you did. do? You? How old are you? I'm only 19. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> hey, bro. You seen the message about me getting shot at all the time? Yeah, you ain't gonna make it, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, hey. What is the will? There's a way. I'm telling you. <laughs> This nigga just. Now, as, long, 
Go ahead. Bro, as long as her dad don't get out, bro, because listen, she been telling her dad and her parents about me and that shit, bro. Man, that nigga has a body. I'm pretty, I don't, he hasn't been to trial yet, but hey, I'll take the stand if they need it. But as a person, bro, I'll tell you, lock that man up. I can't be next. He has a body is insane. <laughs> bro, I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm not about to be his next either. He's tapped, bro. Something's wrong with him. <laughs> He's not all there. Is this like a snitching? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm taking the stand. Listen, if they feel like, yo, we, we lacking our evidence, hey, hey, <laughs> call me up, bro. What did he do? Who he kill? Bro, I don't know. He got into some argument at a gas station, and he was it was first degree murder. They trying to charge him with that because the nigga, I mean, yeah, he drove around like three times. So he drove around the first time, arguing, him, beat his dog, his service animal. What you, what you think this nigga going to do to me? Because what the dog do? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> so so then he came around the second time, and they got this all on a gas station camera. So the second time they argued, he got out the car, and then they fought. And then the third time, man, he came around with a baseball bat. Him and his friend all crashed out together. And, yeah, they, they, they beat his ass. And the dog. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they killed the dog, too. But, hey, Damn. it ain't me. So if they need an extra person to testify, hey, I'm there. So he killed the disabled man? He was homeless, too, bro. Like, what, what you do? What a homeless man do to you at night? Wow. Hey. Nah, you're not safe. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, bro, I am safe. All right, bro. Wait, hold He's, on, hold on, hold on. You need to go to Wiz Tech, bro. bro. What? Huh? I'm an audio listener. Hey, you about to be listening to audio in heaven, nigga. It's <laughs> over. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Good luck, nigga. Man. That nigga dead. <laughs> <sighs> that nigga dead. That nigga dead. That nigga killed the service dog. I wouldn't even be talking to his daughter. With a baseball bat. With a baseball bat. A disabled man. If you got a service dog, you're disabled. And homeless, it's like where sometimes snitching just got to go out the window. There's no <laughs> if somebody tell all that nigga that is not snitching. Yeah. <laughs> that is saving the earth, my nigga. <laughs> they could beat the dog too. Oh man! I always wonder, can you incriminate yourself in church? Incriminate yourself? Yeah, because it's supposed to be like where you could confess in front of people. Like, what if it was just like, hey, we like to welcome Brother Johnson to the congregation. This is his first day. Uh, let's give him a mic. And just be like, tell us about your life, Brother Johnson. And nigga just get to singing like, I was down on my luck. I had three niggas that owe me money, yeah. I shot all them niggas to death. I think one was your brother. <laughs> And a little voice came to me and he said, why did you shoot these three young black men? And I said, I'm going to change my life right now. <laughs> and that's why I'm here. I just did this shit last night. <laughs> and I still got the blood of one of them <laughs> niggas on my shirt. But now it's the blood of Christ. <laughs> Nigga said, let me see the holy water and see if it wiped the fingerprints <laughs> off. <laughs> nigga wiping the fingerprints off his gun with some holy water and shit. <laughs> this nigga just took a shot of the wine again. Oh my gosh. You can't hide no hood niggas in church. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga giving around a collection plate. All you hear is snatch him. <laughs> hey, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. Do you ever. <laughs> Do you ever peek uh, when they used to say, like, everybody close their eyes and then put your hands up if you're trying to get saved type of thing? Yeah. <laughs> I used to always peek, and that was they started to see the people that want to get saved. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so, I'm way worse than you. When they used to say, turn to your neighbor and say something. I will always wait till they say something and I would like whisper under my breath and say, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I would say, shut the fuck up, bro. Oh, say, man. Turn to your neighbor. <laughs> turn to your neighbor right now and say, I love you. And everybody be like, I love you. 
I love you. And I'm like, nigga, I ain't in no coat, nigga. <laughs> Telling nobody I love them, nigga. Just get the scripture, nigga. <laughs> get your Corinthians, nigga. <laughs> you know, I was that one kid in church. <laughs> What if a nigga left because he liked the pass like the the scripture that was being uh, read? <laughs> I mean, like yeah, hey, we gonna get to Genesis, or we gonna get read like what's what's a good one? It's oh. popular. <laughs> <don't know. laughs> hey, we gonna read John three sixteen. Yeah. Heard that? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, just get up and leave. <laughs> Oh, we going to get into Genesis. Not, not me. Not the beginning. <laughs> this nigga. Not the, if they still talk about Genesis, Genesis got to be like not that talked about anymore. That's like, what I'm saying. That's the easy chapters to kind of know they what happened. Up, that, man, this. <laughs> you got to start getting the Jameses and the, the uh, what, the Leviticus. <laughs> no, I, hey, I was so foul. <laughs> if I was teaching about uh, Adam and Eve. I start the uh, church off and give everybody an apple. And I'm like, hey, don't eat the apple until I tell you to. And then I like say everybody can eat their apple now. And right when everybody take a bite, I just pop it up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> See what <I> God? <laughs> <laughs> you bit the apple just like you. <laughs> 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 niggas, niggas be trying to preach off anything. Bro, I hate when the, the, the pastors that have the most like random story, and then it leads to it's a story that has nothing to do with the, the scripture. So he just, he literally tells a story about like how he's a D one basketball player and how he, he tore his ACL yeah. in, in college. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and so make it some uh, introspective to their story or to the scripture. <laughs> when I was five, I couldn't tie my shoes. I used to go be like grandma, grandma, grandma. Cause you tie my shoes. I'd be like, boy, you need to learn how to tie your own shoe. Then I turned 15, still couldn't tie my shoes. I used to go to my girlfriend, girlfriend, go, could you get a tie my shoes? <laughs> then I was still a grown man back living with my mama. <laughs> He said, after the time my shoes, he said, baby, I'm too old. I don't know if I'm going to be able to tie your shoes again. Then my mama died, and I knew, God, <laughs> I switched to sketches because God <laughs> told you about adapting to Velcro. <laughs> the Velcro <laughs> is what God, the relationship between you and God is the Velcro. Anybody with Velcro <laughs> shoes? If I take the strap off, do I have God's support? <laughs> mm, no. then, hey, somebody like this. Ooh, preach, man. Yeah. <laughs> Like this nigga talking yes. about new balances. Like the fuck? <laughs> I ain't come to learn about no sketchers, nigga. <laughs> what were you saying, Doki? <laughs> I was going to say, um, it's off topic from that, but it's still mm. church. But I was always that kid that was horny in church. <laughs> no, while everybody else was praying at church, I'd be thinking about Granny Shirley's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Mm. And I was like seven, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? Like, I ain't that horny, but... <laughs> But to act like the shit wasn't there is insane. <laughs> what? <laughs> the shit, bro. How can you ignore this shit, bro? You like the shit that sit on the back? Huh? I'm talking about. It's not even like. To me, I don't know what the fuck he on. <laughs> but. I'm not talking about the attraction to it. I'm talking about like how big the asses used to be back then. <laughs> like on the older ladies at church, I'd be like, God damn. <laughs> Ain't nothing but big ass and elbows around this. <laughs> I never seen an elbow like that. That look like tricep muscles. <laughs> God damn. That's how they be used to be. I'd be like, damn, you ever get you ever cook something and get tired? Like, damn, my arm kind of hurt from stirring from so long. <laughs> no. They got them bitches, them bitches. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck you cooking coke? <laughs> <laughs> Telling you, nigga, stirring that much. <laughs> what are you stirring that hard? Yeah, I'm talking about soul food. Sometimes you gotta stir the mac and cheese. <laughs> that's you a cook, that's a cook, deep. How many people are you cooking for? You that's hold what I'm saying. For we that. used to have like fam, all our family over. It'd be nah, like, we never did that. Forty people. No, I never had forty people in my house at one that's time. That's I'm telling you, black families to celebrate the shit out of some Thanksgiving, boy. What was the most? What was the most amount of people that's ever been in your house at one time? I'd say like maybe ten. Ten is kind of. How about you? In my house, like any place your that parents ever lived grow, in? house you grew up in, yeah, maybe like fifty. It was a family. <laughs> it was a family reunion. Fifty people in one house. The family reunion. It was a big ass house. That's just all crazy. Oh. I, don't, I don't know fifty people to bring over to my crib. 
What's the most amount of people you ever invited to your crib? One. Yeah. <laughs> One at a time, nigga. Yeah, same Can't same. watch two niggas. <laughs> this nigga still, and this nigga like the shit in my bathroom. <laughs> watch yeah, this if nigga. Get invited to a friend, is like 20 other dudes there. It's like, what is going on? No, right that's now? insane. <laughs> it's, get, and it's not a party. He's like, hey, bro, you trying to come over and chill? Like, nah, all right. That shit sound real orgy <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on the brat fest, nigga. <laughs> Call me, call me when y'all find entertainment, man. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to invite you over to to think about what we're going to do. Like, yeah. Nigga, what? I don't want to think with you niggas. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> South Korean government wants to pay anti-social kids $500 a month to go outside and mingle due to the failing birth rate. So basically, they going out here and telling these boys, go get some bitches, nigga. <laughs> Five hundred dollars. Somebody tell me you go get some pictures. It's insane. Go to mingle. Is it like a, a bunch of adults or kids? They saying like it's during like that time. Obviously, I think the eighteen to twenty three range or something like uh, that. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh, cause yeah. like, do they have a one child rule too there? No. Or just in general, just people just don't feel like having sex right now. I don't know. Remember that like one child. You said remember South Korea used, or North Korea? Remember they used to make movies about that? Like people only being able to. Have a, have one child I never knew that That was an actual rule Somewhere until yeah, I grew up I think China has that Yeah law. That's insane I mean You gotta control To accidentally get pregnant I mean I think if you can But there's a penalty If you Our Chinese listeners Let us know But I think there's a penalty If you Them have not listening to that shit They doing something They studying <laughs> While y'all listen to podcasts And shit That's what's wrong with us now <laughs> Hey We still got We'll be alright <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I saw a dude, he got arrested for applying to be a hitman online. Like, nigga, why would you ever? This is the dumbest shit I ever heard. First, where's the website, though? That's what I'm saying. It's not right, an FBI website anyway. I think what his FBI agent just got tired of this nigga Googling how to be a hitman. Like, all right, send the niggas in. Go ahead, yeah. stupid ass nigga. <laughs> this nigga searched for it seven times in one yeah. hour. God right, damn, nigga, how it's many always, articles you gonna pick before they tell you it's a face to face type of thing? So that's like the, the, the criminals about. that do the criminals they always find on their YouTube search, like how to get rid of a dead body. Like, yeah, bro. like two hours before you gotta get rid of the, your wife's body. <laughs> Like, nigga, we know you did it, nigga. <laughs> she, she was just on Instagram Live saying how she hates you and she think you're going to kill her. Like, nigga. And nigga ain't got no surprise tactics. Like, how about kill her when stuff going good, nigga? Oh, my. You ever seen those um those true crime ones, uh, shows where it would show the wife or the, yeah, the former wife or the wife trying to set up the hitman yeah. and, like, the conversations they they have and shit like that? It's kind of eerie, though, because the dude was like, I guess the dude was undercover, but... She was like literally saying, hey, do it like this. And then she came back home with the news vans in there and just started, she put on a show, started crying, sobbing, saying, oh my God. But he wasn't really dead. Wow. You never seen that one? Yeah, I think I, I think I saw yeah, that. Yeah, that That's was. That's insane. But just to think like. And the nigga people, showed up like Undertaker out of nowhere. Like, and she was like. <gasps> there's some people that literally don't want to be with you, but also don't want to see you with anybody else. Mm-hmm. So they'll kill you? Yeah. That's crazy. Sometimes, yeah, to get the money or like to get, she had him sign stuff in his Even name. to get money, like, that's crazy, yeah. bro. I used, I also like watching those like uh, interrogation room uh, tactics. Yeah. Where they use on real people. Yeah. I don't know why I be studying that shit. Like, like I'm never, ever going to fight myself in that that's situation. A lot, of people, <laughs> yeah. a, a lot of people don't believe that. Oh, man, gonna snitch, gonna snitch. Literally 99.9% yeah. of y'all would have fucking yeah. rolled over like the rats y'all already are. <laughs> fucking rat bitches. <laughs> Bitch ass niggas Don't oh, do Nigga <laughs> Nigga you snitched on your third grade bully Nigga sit down <laughs> All nigga did was uh, Knock the wind out of you You told everything Nigga you was a rat <laughs> Nigga been a rat in the third Nah grade. somebody knocked the wind out of me too I'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> Nah you're not gonna knock the air out of my system But like, no nah. inter- What people don't realize about interrogation <gasps> tactics Is like First of all I think when people watch shows, they only see it in like a 15 minute span. Like, mm-hmm. man, this nigga snitch, brother. But they would keep you there in the same clothes, the hours. same thing for hours. I'm talking about 12, 13, 14, 15 hours. As long as they can't overnight, you got to, you taking naps on the thing. You locked up. I don't think people like get that. And they're yeah. going to come. They gonna I think there's a new rule, though. They technically can't keep you there more than a certain amount, like eight hours or something. Like oh, that. yeah, yeah. And then, you know, some people are not even smart enough to ask for lawyers. Yeah. It's like, That's exactly. You, you can ask for a lawyer, I think, immediately. And literally time. not say anything. Yeah. Stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> nigga get right in there. It's like, 
I wasn't there. <laughs> then they got you on camera as being there. Now they got, Trey, you lied to us, so we're going to take you exactly. down. You lied to us, or you're going to tell us something. You already talked, dickhead. Because <laughs> they then arrest you there on those charges. They don't realize that's a form of snitching. Mm-hmm. Like, when you say anything, you go in there, I would have told him I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. Nigga, how about the 4K camera that was there <laughs> that saw you in them same jeans that we saw you in last week, too? <laughs> you a dirty ass nigga. That's how we caught you. Because you had the same thing on you did the crime, man, nigga. <laughs> Dusty ass nigga. Still blood on the ones. Oh, my gosh. Uh, did, I, did we talk about this? About the. That was a, a YouTube video about like New York drill die, about to die. Really? Yeah, just in general, just like the. That's good. The way the you said that's good. I'm just saying like the stuff, the the substance of what they rap about, and New York being so strict with the Rico laws and like the, having like the most cameras. That's what I'm ever. saying. It's good. It's like it's literally they wonder why the New York that scene can't pop off. Anytime somebody so we, gets some momentum, they die or go to jail. Yeah, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. It's not like that really anywhere else. Like yeah, you're seeing people at least get out somewhat. The most yeah. talented people. Yeah, I, I, it's just I think this. It's obviously, I don't think Chicago has like a. They have a Rico stuff, but I don't think it's like as. I think New York might have like the strictest like yeah, Rico. New York, that's where you always hear that. Yeah, yeah, that's where you hear it a lot because obviously there's people following money and stuff like that. But it's, it's it was just interesting to me because I'm like a lot of these rappers they do rap about killings and shit they've seen and stuff like that, and I always wonder like. <laughs> And I like the I like the music like I like the the to shoot them up bang bang but it, it comes to the point it's like how long are we gonna rap about what you experienced like when does that happen when like your kids are growing up you know rich and and famous and like and just people in general just like less poor people every year type of shit I know it's, it's tough it's tough you 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 telling that to people who are taking care of fifty people yeah from the stuff that they rap yeah about. yeah for sure so you can go up there and talk to you know, have a conversation with any young rapper and be like, oh, why do you rap about this? Like, bro, I just made $50,000 last month. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm the richest person in my family. I'm taking care of my family by talking about what me and the guys did. Yeah. I mean, and we was already going to do it. Like, just because we rapping about it don't mean it would just be more silent. I think what sometimes like the more and more people that get famous, Mm -hmm. the more and more people that we realize that are dying. Yeah. Because they're more notable. So you're like, damn, such and such, I'm going to just make up CDL, J Money die, CDL. And it's like, all these CDL dudes, everybody like, man, we love the CDL game. Only reason you know them is because they rap. Yeah. If they didn't rap, they still would have died. But and, just in the game, yeah. And nobody would have knew. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, it is big controversy that all these people are dying. No, it's just more people that's famous. Yeah. Do you know that, uh, that BTB Savage thing situation that happened? So the person... Um, when that Vlad interview dropped, the person that killed him literally went to Enterprise, rented a car, waited outside his apartment for four hours or like a lot of hours and then killed him. Like this happened from the Jeez. Vlad interview drop dropping to the the actual killing happened. Yeah. It was like hours, bro. That's crazy. And it's like people's like I don't know, blaming Vlad and stuff like that. But I don't I don't know. It's kinda weird because he got he went in there was talking like that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. It was just like it was just kind of weird, like how fast that dude like the reacted thing, like that. Yeah, the thing and is, just like crashed out like that, like instantly. I think, I think sometimes it's like a copycat thing. Like everybody realized, like a lot of people don't like Vlad. A lot of people don't like Adam Twenty Two. A lot of people don't like DJ Academics because everybody, you know, everybody has their different reasons. <coughs> different reasons. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, he lame. He do this. He do that. The reason why sometimes I fall back from it. From like those type of shows and like that type of stuff is because you're giving a platform. Obviously, these two people are beefing, yeah, right. But you're giving a platform to like amplify the beef. Mm-hmm. Now, like where it was like, damn, me and this dude really don't like each other. We we'll never do music together, right? Yeah. And you interviewed him and asked him about that and hyped that up, and then you made him say on your platform to be like, yeah, man, I don't fuck with him. Now you saying you don't fuck with me in public. Now I gotta respond because that's part of my shit. And you don't have to respond. But yeah, but most dudes are going to respond. Yeah. You just a dude just went on a platform just say he don't fuck. Duh, we knew we didn't fuck with each other. Why are you telling everybody? Mm-hmm. Now, hey, I don't fuck with you. Then you gotta sh- shoot back. Now you just amplify the whole beef. And he's like, and you never been in the streets like whatsoever, or you'll realize like how, like how much damage that shit can do. 
You think it, yeah. and it's them talking about it like it's game. That's why he killed him. And just like, but bro. it's one of those things. Like if it was, if it was at that point where they felt like killing each other already, wouldn't they have already? Wouldn't they do it? But it's just, it's just them talking about it though. It's just them talking about it and putting more eyes on it and stuff like that. It's I'm, like, I'm playing a devil's advocate here, but it's like they're not forced to answer those questions. I understand that, but if you ask me that on your platform, you I'm just like, say no comment. Yeah, you can say no comment. Yeah, but. You really don't like that person, and you would say that. Sometimes out loud. people will say they like somebody, but some like people, just to kind of like brush where, it off. Where some people come from, that ain't real to say no comment. Yeah, but still, I'm you just feel saying. like it, it make them feel like, oh, you thought I was scared to say it if I said no comment. But yeah. that's stupid, though. I don't like that type of like, because people. I feel like you should just be able to just say no comment and just be cool about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I, I would think like. Most interviews are like that. But but listen, in the other part of it is sometimes they interview the not the lower tier rapper, but the more unpopular rapper. Like so if I'm beefing with a popular rapper, right? Yeah. Let's say I'm beefing with Drake, right? And Drake diss me, what outlet do I have to diss him back? Right? Even if I put out a song, I'm not that popular of an artist. Where's a, where can I get the most feedback right away? Yeah. Oh shit, Adam twenty two just hit me up. Now I can go talk about my Drake beef. This nigga been dissing me. Now I really amplify it. Now Drake can actually hear my shots back. He wasn't clicking on my SoundCloud link, but you're going to hear this Vlad interview. That's why people go there and say anything. That's what want. I'm saying. That's how that plays. I, that's to me, I'm saying, like, how's that Vlad's or DJ Academics when they're... Because they, they helping know, it. They I get that they taking the money away, but I, after... The, oh, the, only, the other, other, other problem I have with them is, like, D, DJ Academics doesn't do it. But Vlad does it like, okay, I've been in a situation where, like, how, how many more times can you do it where something turned out bad? You don't feel like you were. Yeah. Not saying, like, okay, Vlad for that, can, for that pick look, For that pick look, for sure, I definitely think that, yeah. Vlad can look at that situation and be like, that's not my fault. Yeah. But as, like, a grown-ass man who's been around the game as long as Vlad has, he could be like, damn. I think that's Somebody left this studio that was talking crazy and got did some type of way. Like, you don't feel any part of that to be like, damn, I I'm not doing that style of interview no more. Like, I, I think that, but he, they're already talking about things that that person did, too, where it was taking that uh, the picture with the blood in the room. Yeah. He did that before, like, or he might have did that after the interview. I, but regardless, I, though, it's, it's one of those things where, yeah, it, to yeah, me, I get it. If, if, it was, if it was anything that was antagonizing the interview, I would have felt like Vlad just say, just save that person from himself sometimes if you care about the people you interview. Yeah. Just but he, but just he Vlad it. let people incriminate themselves on there. Mm -hmm. He let them do all type of stuff. Like he let them like, bruh, like when, hey, hey, don't say that. You can go to jail. Some of them, I mean, like now watching that King Von doc, it was like it seemed like there was like incriminating stuff in like the verses and shit. That's what I'm saying. People think but, like but only people are so in, it's like the reason that King Von doc was a little hard to watch for me is just like is the dude from freaking London making it and it's like Obviously, he's he was he did his research. I don't know what's true and what's not true, but yeah. it just like it made it seem too much of a movie, like to glorify. I don't know. It just seemed like it's like the whole thing. Keep with something. Yeah. yeah, it was just a it's weird. like you're like you're saying maybe crimes we don't even know he committed. Yeah, and then you're glorifying the crimes that you think that he committed. Like he was it, the ultimate savage. Like this, like like shit like, like that. You've never like, been that. You like come it, on, yeah, no. it's odd. <laughs> yeah, that whole thing weird as hell, man. Um. Uh, you know, I got a problem with, you know, you know, I hate dividing us up as like racist, but listen, white people, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Pat. Every I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But listen, you, if you white and you text me and your emojis too dark, I really don't fuck with you no more. <laughs> you think they should, they, some of them be kind of going a little shape too Yeah, because they're trying to say they tan. Like, yeah, that's ice spice. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> The fuck going on with your emojis? <laughs> Why is it a light skinned girl? You only look like this in summertime. Take this shit down. You live in the Midwest. You like Casper the other fucking eight months, bro. Take this shit down. I can't stand that shit, bro. Oh my. Either God. go either stay that or go back to the Homer Simpson, the Simpson style. Stay neutral, nigga. <laughs> I had somebody the tell neutral me. neutral one, yeah. I had somebody tell me because I made like a, a a tweet and it was getting retweeted a lot. And some dude came up to me and said, I ain't re I would have retweeted it, but you had that emoji on there. So I was like, damn, what emoji I put on there? And I had the black praying hands. So I was like, oh, this racist ass nigga. <laughs> but it was like 12 hours later. I was like, oh, this, the dude I was talking to was racist as fuck. Like, you ain't never had no shit hit you that late. 
<laughs> like you get into like a like a disagreement with somebody, you be like, man, whatever, man, it's it's whatever. I'm not even, man, whatever. Watch out. When you go home, you taking a shower, you be like, wait, this nigga was disrespecting me, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. That shit hit you late. <laughs> yeah, it hit you late as hell. So next time you see him, you gotta be like super on that. Be like, he'd be like, what's up, bro? He'd be like, what's up, bitch ass nigga? <laughs> like that crackhead from the last episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta come with a different type of energy. Like I think he just tried to hold me. Disrespect y'all school. If y'all have fun, say hell yeah. Hell yeah. If y'all have fun, say hell yeah. Hell yeah. If y'all want me to get back with any of say hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it's always funny when rappers try to get the girl back on stage. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like one of those things where it's like you got the platform. Yeah, use your platform to your advantage. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> because uh, the same thing happened with um, I think it was it Cardi B and Offset mm -hmm. when he got on stage <laughs> with flowers during her performance. I mean, what like? Hey, not, if you're desperate, bro, if you really want, that, you could do. You got to do anything. It's not a lot of dudes that can pull that off. Yeah, obviously, you no. gotta have the fan base. Yeah, and what like. I don't know what bigger thing you can give to a girl than be tell her you love her in front of fifty thousand people. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For the if you was like out here doing it wrong, like say you was cheating, like you letting mm -hmm. the whole world know I am unavailable. <laughs> yeah. Or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or you still love her. I love you. <laughs> no, rappers now is always going it. overboard. It's just like a regular person can't do that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you can't yeah. go to your, you can't go to uh, fourth period lunch and be like, "I need everybody <laughs> to make some noise for me trying to get my girl back." Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just <laughs> nigga, you holding up the sub line. Yeah, nigga. you be calling creeping everything. <laughs> oh God, you can't do nothing. Really. It's like equivalent to like saying like, uh, "Kanye sent my, it, uh when Kanye sent Kim Kardashian all them roses on yeah. Valentine's Day." Like, nigga, <laughs> you about to take this uh 110 dollar uh, gift basket. <laughs> Love it's it. like equivalent to uh, we got cheeses in there, mm -hmm. <laughs> heart shaped cheeses. Uh, yeah. Equivalent to it's like equivalent to what do you call it? when dudes back in the day used to be like, um, "Hey, my man's like you." Mm. <laughs> that used to be fire. You know why? You can't do that as an adult, though. No, nah, <laughs> bro. It still be dudes that do for real. That. Hell yeah, no way. Oh God, hey, <laughs> hey ask her if she owns something. Like, yeah. like you're thirty. <laughs> you go ask her <laughs> right over <laughs> there. She's like, hey. <laughs> He wants to ask you something. <laughs> no, nah, my friend like you as over as an adult is crazy. No, nah, that's insane. <laughs> to be 25 and up as and saying, hey. Because I used to do that as a kid, and I'm not gonna lie. Just be like, I'm like, go on here and tell uh blank blank and, Even, and just say like how Mike really likes you and all he talks about is you. No, nobody does that anymore that's like 25 or over. But with, I don't think you should do it as an adult either. No, but I'm saying high school either. <laughs> what, some people, what some people do is they try to seek information through like another person. Yeah. Like, nigga, go talk. What, when she graduate? Like, nigga, I don't know, nigga. <laughs> Top of her class? Who knows? <laughs> 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 Who knows, man? Oh, man. Hurry up. But anyway, that has been episode. No, I got something else to say, nigga. <laughs> I saw um, Lotto. <laughs> I'm dead ass. Lotto, Lotto photoshopped the crowd. Like she had a picture on Instagram and yeah. the crowd looked big. And somebody found out that she photoshopped it. And yeah. I'll just be like, that gotta be the most hating nigga yeah. in the world. Yeah. Just zoom in on the crowd into like, <laughs> I would never even zoom in on a picture yeah. like that. Yeah. But, oh, dope. Yeah, I think I forgot her explanation, but it's like, I don't know, it was still people there. Yeah, it was like a, it wasn't that like Coachella or some shit. Yeah, was going on. I wish some of these like some of these rappers would like stop responding and just be like, "I'm Lotto," or <laughs> yeah. like, "I'm this person." Like I'm Kevin Durant. Yeah, like that type shit. Like, who cares that I just did this? If you did this, would anybody make an <laughs> article about yeah. it? That's the thing. Yeah, if right. you quit your job today, that shit wouldn't even make the newspaper, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that shit wouldn't even make the Sheboygan Scanner. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a low key shout out. <laughs> hey, shout out to Sheboygan Scanner. Niggas be crying like bitches on that scanner. <laughs> Can you please refrain from cussing on the scanner? <laughs> Bitch, it's a tornado. <laughs> <laughs> we about to die. <laughs> Man, anyway, this has been episode 98 of 98. Crash Gummies Podcast. There is no Saturday episode. I repeat, there is no Saturday episode. That's all you get. Be grateful. Um, stay in school. Do drugs. Yep. Go stream, uh, go stream uh, Key's song. What's the title again? Uh, Free Rio. 
Free Rio. What's your is your your rapper Yo, name? What Key K E E? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> you know how you waiting on the nigga? Yeah, yeah. niggas. Yeah, niggas be name my name Key Master. Uh, yeah, I was like, house key, nigga, garage key, nigga, car key. <laughs> that nigga's key gonna list. spell like C, C- I E or some shit. Keystone <laughs> White, nigga. <laughs> key key anyway. block cousin, nigga. <laughs> this was episode ninety eight of Crash Dummies podcast. Go pay that <laughs> dollar, you bitch ass niggas. Go pay it. Oh. Oh, you know, go ahead. Never mind. I'll say that for the next episode. Peace. Peace.